Hello, everybody, and welcome to the World Blender 2025 training series. And thank you for buying World Blender 2025. My name is Lance, and I am the creator of World Blender. Now, if you are coming from World Blender 2024, then I have another video about the new features of World Blender 2025. But for this particular series, I'm going to assume that this is the first time you use World Blender. So, after buying World Blender 2025, you will be able to download this particular zip file. And you can go ahead and extract this file right here. Okay, it's going to create a new folder. And uh, if you go into this folder, you will have these four files. In order to open these uh, blend files, you will need at least Blender version 4.1 or newer. Okay, you can actually open up these files to view the content, but I don't actually recommend that. So just leave them here. And let's open up Blender. I'm currently using Blender version 4.3, but you can use version 4.1 or any newer version. Now, World Blender is actually not an add-on. It's an asset library. So if you try to install it as an add-on, it's not going to work. So you have to install it as an asset library. So just go to Edit and Preferences. You can now go to the file path tabs all the way at the bottom. And in the asset libraries section, you can open this up and click the plus icon. And you can navigate to where you store your World Blender files. And click as asset library. There we go. And it's going to create a new asset library for you. And you can double click on the name to rename the library like so. And I'm going to use the absolute path. And I'm going to use append reuse data in case I want to change something within the notes. OK, don't forget to save the preferences. And that's it. That's how you install World Blender. And now you are ready to start using World Blender. So in order to do that, we need to go to the asset browser. It's right here, asset browser. And here we have a new library, World Blender. And in here, we have all the nodes that World Blender has to offer. There are quite a number of them, but don't worry about it. I'm going to show you how to use all of these in the later videos.